We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this HP M402 and we're going to talk about some common causes of paper jams. In these scenarios we're going to talk about specifically paper jams that are caused because of issues inside the paper tray. So let's go ahead and remove the paper tray. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take out the paper that's in here already so we can take a better look inside the paper tray. Now if you look inside of here you notice there's two little adjusting slides with these little blue tabs and there's also indicators inside the tray with different numbers and letters. So what all that's for is so that you can change this paper tray for different sizes of paper. And it's very important that for whichever size paper you're using in that paper tray, you have these indicators set on exactly those little marks for that paper size. So in our case we're using a standard 8.5 by 11 or letter paper. So we want to make sure that all of our marks are directly on our 8.5 by 11 or letter marks. If you have them set for a smaller size piece of paper, say you, you put the paper in and you grab this and you just try to snug the paper in there, what can happen is that two things. One, it can actually create or make the paper be too tight inside the paper tray and the printer has a really hard time pulling it through. Two, it could also tell the printer that there's a smaller size piece of paper inside the paper tray. So even if it does pull paper, it can think there's a paper jam inside of the printer. So that, that's two reasons. And it works the other way as well. If you have this set, maybe you put a, as much paper as you could in there and this gets knocked back over time. It can do, allow there to be too much room inside the paper tray. Paper can shift back and forth and the printer has a hard time picking it up. And also it can tell the printer that there's too big of a piece of paper, or there's a bigger size piece of paper inside of this paper tray. So if it does pull paper, it's looking for a long, longer or larger sheet of paper. And so it thinks there's a paper jam when it's pulling paper through. So again, very important, make sure all your indicators are set for the correct paper size. Once you do that, another common cause we see is from adding paper into the paper tray. So say you have just a little bit of paper left in the bottom and you go and you add a stack. Sometimes what happens when you slide your, the new stack of paper on top, it will actually push a few sheets up and curl them behind the new stack of paper. And what will happen is kind of the same idea as having the, the adjuster set too small. It can squeeze that paper inside of that paper tray and make it way too tight. And the printer has a really hard time pulling that paper through. So very important, make sure that you always have a nice clean stack of paper. Whenever you add paper, it's always a good idea. Just to kind of give it a quick visual check, make sure that all four sides look like nice and straight. You don't see any paper curl anywhere. If you do, just go ahead and remove it. Um, other than that, that should help drastically with paper jams. Another common cause we see inside the paper tray is obviously nobody wants to stop in the middle of a print job to add paper into the paper tray. So you try to fit as much paper as you can inside of this paper tray, and I understand. But there is a maximum point that you can actually fill this tray and it still function properly. And if you look on top of these adjustment slides, you'll see there's a little, a little flag that sticks out. And what that is, is that's your maximum fill level. And what will happen is sometimes people shove paper under there and try to get, like I said, as much as they can. But it's still too much paper. And it's too tight and it doesn't allow the paper pickup assembly to pull the paper through the printer properly. So, Generally, I would recommend leaving just a small gap between your top sheet of paper and these little flags on the three sides of the paper tray. And that way you don't overfill your paper tray and that will also help tremendously as far as paper jams go. And another issue is actually just a common maintenance problem. If you've had this printer for a while and you use it pretty heavily, it's never been maintenance or it's been a long time since it's been maintenance, then there's a good chance your printer can need its rollers replaced. Um, it's just one of those things just like having your, your tires changed out on your car every so often. These get worn out and they need to be replaced. So if these solutions haven't helped you as far as reducing your, your paper jamming issues, then there's a good chance your rollers are, are worn out and need to be replaced. And if that's the case, feel free to call Onyx and we'd love to help you out with those. Um, also, if you have any other questions, concerns, please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We'd love to help you out with those as well. And if you can find yourself in the market needing any supplies for your printer, office supplies, anything like that, Please feel free to reach out to Onyx. We love to help provide those for you. And we hope you have a great day and you're back up and printing. Thank you.